The hunt for red color in grapefruits is a story of mutation. But first, what's a mutation? A mutation is fundamentally a change in a DNA sequence. A mutation is not a monster. In fact, most mutations have no effect whatsoever. A few have negative effects, and the very rare few have a positive effect. There are lots of ways you can change DNA, and therefore, there are lots of different kinds of mutations. And you can organize them in different ways. So you can organize them by size. Mutations can happen at the level of a single base pair. They can happen at many base pairs, the level of a gene, all the way out to whole chromosomes, and even duplication of entire genomes. That's actually really important in the plant world. They also, they can happen by different mechanisms, right? You can substitute D D bases for one another. You can insert new ones, adding them. You can delete them. You can take them away. You can duplicate segments of DNA, repeat it one after another. You can translocate, where you pick a piece up and move it somewhere else. Or you can invert a section of DNA, turning it backwards. These all have different effects, right here in green, on the protein. Some are, most are silent. They have no effect whatsoever. A few are missense, meaning that they change the protein that's produced. And some are nonsense, meaning they stop the protein in its tracks. Some of the missense mutations are frame shifts, meaning they shift the reading frame of how the DNA bases are read and translated into, into, into proteins. Regardless of the mechanism, right, many, many things can cause mutations. Most are corrected by natural processes, and that they can be caused, for example, by mistakes in normal cellular processes, like copying DNA. They can be caused by external causes, like UV light or free radicals. However, the, whatever the cause, the changes that happen in cells that can be inherited lead to long-term new variations of a gene. Genetic differences are the basis for evolution, for plant breeding too. Right? So selection, whether it's natural or artificial, can only act on existing variation. So if, what do plant breeders do if the, the variation they want doesn't exist? Well, starting in the 1950s, they might try to create it using things known to mutate DNA, like x-rays, gamma rays, certain, certain chemicals. So in the hunt for red grapefruit, scientists decided in the 1960s to use nuclear reactors to generate neutrons and x-rays and radiate two different kinds of plant tissues, seeds and budwood. So here is the reactor at the Brookhaven National Laboratory, the nuclear reactor, that was used to irradiate the grapefruit plants. The irradiation event itself is fast, seconds, minutes, hours. But the rest of the process is definitely not. Remember, most mutations have no effect or are negative. So finding a positive one, like red color, is a little bit like looking for a needle in a haystack. Scientists had to screen many, 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 many uh, plants in order to see if they had new desirable traits. The type of plant tissue they used is important because the gene has to be passed to the next generation for it to be an allele that far the plant breeders can work with, right? So that's why they used seeds. The reason that they used budwood is, it, is, is a little more subtle, right? It turns out with grapefruits that you can produce plants in two different ways, right? You can germinate the seeds, or you can take the bud sports and graft them, right here the germinating seeds, or you can graft them onto rootstock and produce a plant from that irradiated branch. In, any, in either case, they had to get to grapefruit producing plants before they could even evaluate whether or not they had positive changes to work with. This takes a long time. In the case of real red grapefruit, the budwood was irradiated in 1963, okay? But the new cultivar wasn't, wasn't released to farmers and nurseries until 1984, 20 years of development and testing to find the red genes we now associate with, with grapefruit. 